time. Yes, we are yes. sons. Yes. Sons. Yes, we are. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your blessings. Lord, we thank you for your glory that's so beautiful in and upon your people. I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you, dear Lord, just like you said in your word, that we're to let our lights shine before men. Praise yes. So you'll see our good work and glorify you in heaven, dear Lord. Yes. And we thank you for that. Thank you for every person, dear Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for every person in your body yes. all over this earth and in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for a glorious body. Christ Jesus, you are all together lovely. Yes. And we thank you. What a privilege it is to have a part in the body. Thank yes. you, Lord yes. Jesus. Father, we pray now for your precious spirit. Lead and guide us. Teach us, blessed spirit of truth. Take of Christ and show it unto us. You are such a faithful God. And we thank you and love you. And we have great expectancy, dear yes. Lord, because yes. we know yes. you will show us of you. And, and Lord, we thank you that as you, as we see you, as you are so we in this present world. So we thank you that we're able to see you, Christ Jesus, by the spirit. Amen. 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 Holy people, Lord. Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 3. We'll just do a little bit of review. Hebrews chapter 3. Well, sister, final why don't you ever, ever give us a subject? Well, because you're a son of God. Praise God. God has many things to say, and he knows exactly what you need to hear. Amen. He might give you a subject. He might be focusing on something and miss what he wants to say. So what one day I Praise guarantee, it will be by the Spirit. Amen. It will be what I heard the Lord say. Amen. You. So hopefully that will be good enough. That's great. We learned the danger, and last time we came together, of the danger of unbelief. It takes, mm -hmm. it cheats us out mm -hmm. of so much right. as sons of God. I'm beginning to see some things. It's like a, the, the, the thoughts of God, the beautiful cunning work that they did in the temple, that Meaning it's like you would would you would rot something. It's like a something beautifully weaved, and I thank God that's exactly what He's doing in our lives. Amen. The more we learn of Him, then then I'll I'll see things like well, well, Lord, I understand why this person said this. Well, I understand why the word says that because it's so beautiful, and then mm -hmm. when you get it together, it's very Christ. Praise so God. I thank God so much for that. Mm -hmm. When we looked in Hebrews chapter three, just a just a very very brief review in Hebrews chapter 3. And uh, Bishop Paul has um, shared some things this morning that uh, have already been a wonderful witness. We saw unbelief was the reason that the children of Israel could not enter in the rest, into the rest of God. There's a, a, a rest, glory to God. But if we believe, you're entered into it. But if you don't believe, you're not Amen. entered into it, and we need to understand that. We also saw from Romans uh, chapter 11 briefly, Israel's unbelief was for our mercy and theirs as well. You see that God Amen. used the people, and, and out, of the, out of his people, his chosen people, he was able to, there was a beautiful example in the earth of what a, the kingdom in the spirit should look like. Amen. And when people obeyed God, everything right. just went beautifully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When people disobeyed God, there was they utter chaos. Yes. Amen. And, and so we have that for our learning today. Yes. That if we obey him and if we believe him, we, we, we'll have great success. And we saw how unbelief really comes from an evil heart. Mm -hmm. An evil heart of unbelief. Mm -hmm. And the, we had a spiritual remedy, what did it say in Hebrews 3? Exhort one another while while it's called today. today. Mommy, yes. you said um, today this day in your exhortation to us, and that really blessed my heart because it's such a yeah. wonderful witness. Thank yeah. God for this day. We are in a day. Yeah. We yeah. saw right. that so Praise beautiful from Ezekiel. This this day has come from the east. The the prince came in this yes. way. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. This Amen. brought in this glorious day. And this is this is our life, bless his holy name. So we don't want to be denied from entering into his rest. Amen. We also saw where un, 
believe. We're supposed to be partakers of Christ, but if we don't believe, this, this partaking is a partner or I means sharing with, with Christ. Mm -hmm. If we don't believe, we won't share in that. Right. And see, I, I reminded um, the study group how people would take terms and, and when, it, when it's true spiritual meaning at, at the core, it's glossed over because people usually when they say, well, you partner with our ministry, that means we don't care what you're doing, just, just regularly mm -hmm. contribute. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't mean that this partnering with Christ means that we are, we are actually partners, we share, we're joint heirs with him. Mm -hmm. You have people that are partners with maybe a, a quote, ministry and have not a clue what they have in Christ Jesus <laughs> or who he is. Amen. So we think about for understanding the difference. Two verses in Hebrews 3, if you don't mind going back looking, we'll tie some things together before we go into chapter 4. Verse 6 says, But Christ, as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if, there's an if there, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Right. In verse 14 of, of chapter 3, it says, For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Mm -hmm. We got to come to the place that this is not about how, how much we trust, but we got to, this gospel has to be tied all into it. Yes. Because when I see this right here, I understand why Paul said, you know, the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. It's no longer me living. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's Christ living in me. That's, that's what this confidence brings us to. And just to, so, just so that we can see, the, the Lord drew my attention to something very wonderful. In Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3, let's go back over to chapter 1 if you don't mind. Let me put something in perspective because this word confidence is nothing to play with, okay? Yeah. If verse, I'm going to read three verses from Hebrews 1. It says, God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us how? By his right, son. son. We know son. that. Whom he hath appointed, now listen, heir of all things. Now didn't we just see over there that if we have this confidence, we'll be partakers Amen. of Christ. Amen. See that? Yes. What has he got? He's heir of all, all things. Amen. It says, by whom also he made the worlds. Yes. But listen carefully to Word. verse 3. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. Mm -hmm. You see that word person right there? That is one and the same word as confidence. Mm -hmm. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I understand it though. <laughs> I understand it though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I understand it though. <laughs> Got it. Person is the same as confidence. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Think about that. It says of all and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our <coughs> sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Mm -hmm. Let me show you this word confidence one other place. Go over to Hebrews chapter 11. Everybody familiar with this? Just say it all the time, but I wonder if they know how it's tied into confidence. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Do you know the words confidence is used in Hebrews 3? Um, substance right here in Hebrews 11. Mm -hmm. And person in, over here in cha chapter 1. Do you know those are the one and the same meaning? Mm -hmm. You carry the identical, no deviation whatsoever. It's one and the same. You may, it may be just a, a different word put in, Amen. but the meaning is the same. Amen. Amen. I think the church needs to hurry up and get a clue who Christ Jesus is. Amen. 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 Well, who he is, he's Amen. our Lord. Yes. He's our God. God. Yes, he's our Savior. Amen. Not only who he is, but what he has done. Because if yes. we don't ever get it forever settled in our hearts, what he has done, we'll keep looking for him to do something. Mm -hmm. And it's already done. Right. Amen. Amen. 
Lord will fix this, do this, do that. Hmm. So what's the, what's the hold up between the answer side of prayer? Or oh, unbelief. unbelief. It's got to be because the word can't lie. Yeah, it is the right. word. Amen. So the word, the word cannot lie. So let's go to Hebrews 4. All right? Don't put yourself in any kind, any kind of condemnation now. You may have prayed to the Lord for something, and like over the years, I've been around for a few decades. I asked the Lord for some stuff. It was just been a jammed up mess if he gave it to me when I wanted it. So what I'm saying is just don't stop believing. Praise God. If you know it's God's will for you to be healed, then don't stop believing it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Don't stop. Don't stop. Just keep on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, Lord. He, he's, he's, got, he's running things. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's yes, got Lord. a purpose under heaven. Mm -hmm. He doesn't just plug stuff in because outlaws want him to do something when they want him to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he, he's, he's got a place. Mm -hmm. So it'll be what? It's going to benefit the entire country. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. right. See that? Amen. Yes, Lord. That's something I was yeah. do some things with people and he did well. Look what I did. Mm -hmm. oh, you got to get to right. the place where what? Fuck. That's you be right. dead. Mm -hmm. Our right. lives are hidden with praise yes, Christ Lord. in God. Yes. Yes. Right. So the Hebrews 4, let's read verse 1, beginning verse 1. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you <coughs> should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. Y'all hear this? Yep. Amen. Yeah. What this just say? Who's it talking about? Uh, uh, we had the gospel preached to us, but the ones that didn't believe had the gospel preached to them too, didn't they? That's right. See them? Okay? But the word preached did not profit them. What's the problem? Not being mixed or united with, with faith in them that heard it. See that? For we which have believed do enter into rest. Isn't that yes. wonderful? Yes. Yes. Well, how do I rest? How do I enter in? It's the answer <laughs> right here. <laughs> For we which have believed do enter into rest. Yes. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Yeah. We got we got a we gotta understand this and we gotta we gotta understand it really, really good. So it says, For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. Mm -hmm. Now, if we were to go back over to Genesis chapter two, mm -hmm. let's do it for a minute. We still this up the word now. We know to hold something there because where's our base scripture in mm -hmm. Hebrews three. Go to Genesis chapter two. Just for just a a little few moments. Genesis chapter 2. I just want to read you a few verses because where this ties in. Genesis chapter 2, start verse 1 says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. See that? The heavens mm -hmm. and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. Mm -hmm. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. When God says sanctified, what does that mean? Just like we are what? Set apart. Set apart. <laughs> Set apart. Don't try to fit in with the group. You don't belong there. All right? Because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Mm -hmm. Now, it, when I read something like this, you, you may learn differently. I know, I know it's a big difference in the way <laughs> my husband and I calculate things. So you may be wondering how I kind of like go around a, a different way to do things. But when I see created and made, it's like, well, why put a distinction between them? Mm -hmm. That was like kind of my thought. Mm -hmm. And then, praise God, for word study, it helped me. See, the word create means to, listen to this carefully, look up at me, students, students of the word. To create means to form by cutting. 
Does this sound familiar? Yes. The word yes. of God mm -hmm. is quick. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Minister Paul is telling us as a two-edged sharp and a two-edged sword. To create the, what was, who made everything? The word. Mm -hmm. That's right. All things were made by him, John says. Mm -hmm. Without him was not anything made. So to create means to form by cutting. Mm -hmm. To make means to fashion. Mm -hmm. See that? <laughs> Isn't that one? Now do we see the power of believing the word. Mm -hmm. You see that? You see that? Mm -hmm. so, something, has al something is already in place in the heavens. Just think about it. Mm -hmm. there's, if you look out, there's a, there's a wonderful uh, solar system. When I was a little girl, you, mm -hmm. you know, you, just, you, you, you learn one thing. Now these kids know, to, I mean, twice as much. There are things out there we never dreamed. We little kids learn science yes. and things like that. Mm -hmm. See, see there, there's something so wonderful that's already in place. Man's just trying to figure out, well, how did yes. it get that way? Mm -hmm. But you got a, 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 an all-powerful God that can just speak some things. Mm -hmm. You may have discovered how it happened, but the word says he, he, he spoke it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And some things got fat. Listen, he made some things. Some things got fashioned, and some things were formed by the cutting of the word. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, praise I love the Lord. I love mm -hmm. Pastor Garner. Yeah, I talk about him a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember Pastor Garner said that the word of God is like a laser beam of light. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Yeah. That is the truth. Mm -hmm. I've God. seen the very word of God by believing mm -hmm. it just take care of some things within me. Yeah. See that? That's just what it is like. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. See, like the things that man discovers. It's already there. there. It's the principle that's, that's right. already there. That's right. You see that you can take anything that man has come up with in the earth that's and right. you'll find where God has got something in place. All we have to do is look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yep. 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 We would have had Amen. To. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise Lord, the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God so much then and we're able to see this, the power of this word. The yeah. scriptures tell us what? That the word is so sharp that it can divide even asunder. Listen, listen to the things it can divide. Between what? Soul and spirit, what else? Joints and marrow, and a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the what? Praise God. Heart. Heart. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. That's some, that's, that, sharp. That's, that's sharp. That's, yes. Yes. That is sharp, that is very mm -hmm. sharp, praise God. So then, we, we go on to verse, um, See, verse, let's start with verse 6. Seeing therefore it remaineth, this Hebrews 4, verse 6, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must remain therein, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in, what? Because of unbelief. Unbelief. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, today, after so long a time as it said, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart. See this? Yeah. Like we said earlier, and the Lord has already established from his word, it, the, the unbelief comes from an evil heart. Mm -hmm. So if you hear the word, I remember I used to hear some things, and I was so brought up in a denomination, and, and that denomination made you think that if you didn't believe the way they believed, that you just was no sense in existing, just pray. Mm -hmm. You know, that they were the only way that had things things right. Yeah. And and and, and when you when you did hear the truth, it'll be like, well, no, well, you have to you had to filter filter it through so much. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Once I began to see the word for myself, see what happened in that denomination, you didn't not very many people took the Bibles church. The only you, you, one you saw taking the Bible was the pastor or somebody mm -hmm. just recently called. That's how you knew they were called to the ministry because they walked around with the Bible all the time. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. Now, like I said, I've been around a few decades. Young folks have yeah. a clue what I'm talking about, but it's the truth. It happened in a place and time. Mm -hmm. See that? Amen. <laughs> but when you would hear things, you had so much to fill in the book. But when once you're able to read it for yourself, it's like, well, this is what the word of Amen. God is saying. Praise the Lord. 
I believe God more Amen. than I believe man. Amen. Yes. Amen. And then when I got that mindset, even from a child, God began to speak to me. Mm -hmm. When the, look, I rather believe you than what than what I'm hearing, because mm -hmm. that's not what you say. I would I grew up listening to songs. Songs just as scripturally unsound as they could be. You see? What happened? What, you, you thought that was word because it was yes. a song. It was yeah. sung in church. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Amen. So you go around, <laughs> around quoting stuff because you heard in the song. Yeah. Like people quote stuff because they heard in the movie. Yeah. Well, is it the scripture? Amen. Or is it something that man is saying? Yeah. Amen. See that? Right. Yes. So. We don't want to harden our hearts when we know it's God. Amen. Yes. If somebody's trying, that's why 90% of the time I'm telling you, I'm just, just honing in on this word that you have the opportunity to have your eyes locked on it because uh, you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing. I'm not seeing unless you have a different version, and then still it should say the same thing. Amen. We should still come out of the same place. Yes. Amen. All right? Amen. So then verse 8 says, For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? Now this is where we need some teaching. Yeah. Because this is not Jesus of Nazareth. Right, 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 right. You hear this? Mm -hmm. This is the New Testament name for Joshua. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you get to the, the, the New Testament and the prophet Jeremiah, they call him Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Or Isaiah is Esaias. Right. It's a Greek mm -hmm. name in place. Well, right. just so happened, mm -hmm. Joshua, Jehovah is salvation. Joshua's name is the same in Greek is Jesus. Mm -hmm. But this is not talking about Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth has not left anything undone. Amen. Amen. You see Amen. that? Yes. Hallelujah. So then, this is talking about Joshua. Joshua. So we need to know the difference of that. If you would, would, would um, you can go over to Joshua yourself and read sometimes <laughs> and you'll be able to see uh, what he's referring to. So then, how many remember when, when um, in fact, remember when they were getting ready to go over Jordan, what did Joshua do? He sent Send a command through the camp. Remember that? What's it? To, 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 tomorrow, we're going over into to Jordan. But he enlisted everybody. Who who was it? Remember? Remember um, Reuben, Gad, Reuben, Gad, the half tribe of Manasseh. You got to send men. Your inheritance is on this side, but you got to send your men of war over to help the other one. Mm -hmm. okay. Then when, when they come into their inheritance, you already got yours. When they come into their inheritance, then you come back right. and inherit Amen. your land. Remember yes. that? Yes. 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 But the command was what? To go through, you know what they say? Whatever you tell us to do, we'll do. Mm -hmm. See, that's how people got to be today. Because yes. the thought, the, the mindset today would be, well, that's their inheritance. Let them go yep. do it. Mm -hmm. yep. You see, that? That's, yes. why, that's why you can't get Sister Bynum to stop preaching the gospel. Amen. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Because, Thanks. listen. Where we may know we have our inheritance in Christ Jesus, there's a whole bunch of folks that don't know. Right. So they have to be, they, what that spoke to what Joshua was saying, they have to know they have an inheritance in the land. Mm -hmm. To actual Israel, that was Canaan. Our promised land today is the man Christ Jesus. Amen. Bless his holy name. So somebody's got to what? We, we still have to continue. All that that spoke to what? What would that have spoken to? Those, those names, Reuben. A son, Gad, true, true. Manasseh. Why was he, did, did Joseph name his son Manasseh? Why? Because he made him forget all he had gone through. You see that right there? Yeah. So your inheritance, your inheritance is on this side. That makes, that, that makes so much sense when we look at it. God has a way of doing things that is just astounding to me. His ways are truly past finding out. But then when you see him, you say, God, you, you, all you can do is just ascribe glory to him because he's just one. Yes. Yes. No man would have yes. <laughs> ever covered right. all the bases yes. like right. this. That's they right. would have forgotten something, you yes. know. Yes. God didn't forget anything. Yes. Right. You know, see, that's because he's God. Amen. So, so then verse 8 then, this is referring to Joshua. It's also referring to Joshua when Stephen is preaching over in Acts chapter 7 in verse 45. That is a reference to Joshua. And not Jesus, so mm -hmm. you all will know and have the record straight, okay? Mm -hmm. So then, verse 9 says, There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into <coughs> his rest, he hath also ceased from his own works 
as God <coughs> did from his. Now see, this, this blesses me. Because when, you, when we cease from our own works, this is what all of us are learning now. Cease, to cease from our own works. Mm. To do that means the self-life is, is, is really just flowing out. And Christ, for every ground that's lost in self, Christ stands up strong. Amen. In, in the midst right. of his people. Amen. See, that's why, turn your, um, your bulletin over. I, I like for everybody to have this information. We always show you what we call these steps. I have these steps behind us, but if someone were to come and you wonder what that means, all you have to do is flip Amen. your bulletin over. You'll see Amen. that those are what we call these six steps to the throne. Amen. We need to understand some things, and you'll see how it fits fits so beautifully how, why we have to know what rest is. And I think this is a wonderful time to interject this for those that have not really heard this and understands what, uh, and, and quite un would understand what it means. See, we have a, a display behind me, and it's not for decoration. It's to hold before the people at all times what is true of us in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Anybody that stands up before the people in this house and ministers, it needs to come from this, this ascent to the throne. Mm -hmm. Because it's a finished work in Christ Jesus. People need to know the work is finished and that all we have to do is believe. Right. But see, what this does not contain is the reason we have to minister from this when we stand up to minister to the people of God is because not everybody would understand what this means. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Not everybody yeah. would Praise understand the that. The fact of the matter is, Paul, Paul the apostle, met the resurrected Christ. Mm -hmm. I say that a lot because we need to know the difference. We're running into people with their own ideas and spin on what the thing God said. But there's a difference in running into a son of God who Christ Jesus is mm -hmm. actually flowing through from someone who just thinking they, they know what they're talking Amen. about and don't really know that. Because that can cause some damage. You see that? Mm -hmm. So then, when he met the resurrected Christ, a change went over him. You didn't hear the other mm -hmm. disciples sure say this. Paul mm -hmm. said this. Amen. That's right. Why? He didn't meet their version. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. True. Praise God. He didn't go to them yeah. and say, well, y'all were with him. Well, okay, now I, I, I read what you tell me. It said he conferred not with flesh and blood. That's, right. That's what we need to do. I'm starting to hear your language change. Your language yes. is starting to betray many of you because you're starting to really walk in the spirit. Because yes. how do I know flesh and blood can't show you what you're saying? Amen. Amen. You see that? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you're saying that because what? The Lord, by his spirit, is unveiling himself. Where is he doing it from? Nobody's showing it to you. It's happening in you. Amen. It's happening in you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So then, with this, I know Bishop Paul has done this, and I, and I thank the Lord. But we, I, I want to seal some things in light of the confidence that we need to have. Because the confidence is the same as the person of God. It's the same as the very thing. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. And he's already said the just and the righteous shall live by faith. So the very thing that faith is, 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 his, is God's substance. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Think yeah. about it. You need something from God. Who you think God's going to do it? Mm -hmm. Even if he does it through someone, he's, he's going to be the one to do it. Amen. He's the one that touches right. hearts. Amen. He's yes. the one that changes, yes, that changes he hearts. Amen. You yes. see that? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be God that is doing right. it. Mm -hmm. So then, we are we start out the first step. We're crucified with Christ. We're crucified with Christ. Where did we get that from? We got it from Paul, the apostle, a sent one. How do we do? How do we work the works of God? Believe on Him whom He has sent. Whom He has sent. An apostle is a sent one. Paul is an apostle with a little a. The apostle. How did how did Wednesday study? How did how was Jesus introduced <coughs> in that in that chapter? Apostle. The apostle, apostle and high priest. Amen. That's if we're gonna believe God and and get pro make progress in this life, we that's what he's gotta beat us. We gotta know he's the sent one because if you don't know he's the sent one, you still be trying to work. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. John, what must we do to do the works of God? Mm -hmm. 
Believe on him. This is the work of God. Mm -hmm. Believe on him whom he hath sent. That's what apost apostle is. That's where the word comes from. Greek apostolos, which means sent one. Mm -hmm. That's him, capital A. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And he's the high priest. Why would we need him as the apostle and high priest? First, so we'll believe and the fact that we are a kingdom of priests. Mm -hmm. Amen. See that? Amen. Every time you look at somebody else, you're looking at another priest. Amen. But we have a what? A chief priest, yes, Lord. who is Jesus Christ the righteous. Amen. I think it's so beautiful what we're yes. seeing now. See the priests moving by course. Mm -hmm. I think that's just beautiful. Amen. I think that is just wonderful. Praise Hallelujah. Lord. Glory to God. Lord. So, crucified. Just take it with, listen, this is not a rabbit trail. This is the trail. <laughs> <laughs> Crucified Amen. with Christ. Amen. Romans 6, 6, you got it on your paper there? You follow yes. along. Know this, that our own man is crucified with him, mm -hmm. that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Right. You have to see that by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. See, the more we learn of him, what, what people need to learn, what self-righteous people need to learn today is, is this sin doesn't come by degrees. Mm -hmm. It's sin is sin. That's right. You see that? Mm -hmm. All right. Galatians 2 and 20. And this is one I love. You hear me say this quite a bit. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. Listen. I'm crucified. If someone was crucified, mm -hmm. that means, listen, they died. Mm -hmm. Paul says, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Mm -hmm. Yet, not I. I right. It's not me, but Christ mm -hmm. liveth mm -hmm. in me. Yes. See that? Yes, yes Lord. Yes. And, the, and listen, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live, look now, by this where confidence comes in. Mm -hmm. See that? Because it's him. Right. Amen. Amen. You see that? Mm -hmm. our, our, comf our what we call confidence in English and what we've been brought up in our society, that'll quit on you. You let the pressure get hard, get right. hard enough and you just abandon it and do anything you can for comfort. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But this won't go anywhere on you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's, uh, he goes on to say, the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. You right. see that right Praise there? God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Yes. That's what the scripture said. We go from faith to faith. Mm -hmm. My faith landed me right in the middle of his. I'm telling you, so, it's like, the Lord, there's some things I cannot do without your help. Right. I need you. Amen. I need you. And then you get to a point where I don't want to do anything in love myself. Well, Amen. please Amen. do this through me. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. Amen. Not only in you, but what you, the way other praise people are affected. Praise yes. God. Amen. Galatians 6, 14 reads, But God forbid that I should glory, save in the what? Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Glorying in the cross, that's you showing yourself every time. If you glory in the cross, <laughs> that you have done away with Amen. in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. By whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto mm -hmm. the world. Yeah. If not, you'll be just, you'll just be, it, it, you just be like a, a hornet caught in a jar or something. You want to go away <laughs> and, 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 and be free, but you're just buzzing back and forth. You're stifled, your hair's cut off. You can't go anywhere. You're always confined. Why? Because the world is crucified unto you, but you don't really know that. Mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. God. So you try Amen. to fit in with it. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm really crucified to the world, but I'm trying to fit in with it. I'm telling you, that's a bad state. Mm -hmm. yes. That will wear you out. It will. It'll wear yes. you out. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, Lord. It will. Amen. You're like, I'm sorry, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is wearing me out. I'm telling you, too. So we'll go to the next step is die. Hallelujah. Die what? Die how? Die with Christ. Christ. See, the whole, this whole beautiful transaction of Calvary mm -hmm. included us, but people don't know that. Right. They think that happened to someone else. Someone else. Mm -hmm. This included you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. See yeah. that? This yeah. included yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. The analogy is just so beautiful. If not, you are crook still on the loose. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. It would be just like you going out here murdering somebody, and, and everybody know you murdered them, yeah. <laughs> including you. But somebody else went to, went to jail for you, well, but you still walking around with all the guilt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God, this transaction took that away from us. Yes. Yes. That's who we used to be. Yes. A murderer. You're not now. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. I 
I think it's too liberating to me. Yes, it's amen. Romans 6 and 8 says, Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also what? Amen. Live with him. Amen. But what, how, you gotta, how do you get that? You got to believe it. Amen. If you be dead with Christ, we believe that we'll also live with amen. him. Amen. That's how things start to happen. The life start to be transformed. Yeah. So you hang with this. This is not something you come for just a few months and say, well, I'll hang out with them while I I'll give me something new. No, this is a lifestyle once you step in this. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Colossians 3 and 3 says, for, for ye are dead. Mm -hmm. I remember we started sharing these scriptures with people and people got kind of yeah. spooked. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, to tell you the truth, every time somebody preaches the gospel to you, the word, our eulogy, right. comes from them. Mm -hmm. They're telling you good news. Yeah. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Praise right. God. Yeah. The old man is what's eulogized, not the new creation in Christ. Amen. See, that's what Amen. I'm saying. People come out of denominations and really they were like glossed over with, with witchcraft. A lot of them in there. Mm -hmm. Had people scared, doing things in fear. That's not the kind of fear God wants you to have. Nope. That's not the fear. He wanted reverential fear for you to respect that he's God. Yes. He's a loving father. He knows best for us. And that we don't have to be here alone trying to figure stuff out. Because he's already what? Got a divine Thank plan for each of us. Bless his holy name. His name means Savior. His name means Savior. Name could know Savior. Right. So what else? When? When we crucified with Christ, we died with Christ, we buried mm -hmm. together. With him. Listen to Romans 6 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism. Listen now, into death. Mm -hmm. See, that terrified Adam mm -hmm. to hear that kind of language. Yep. Mm -hmm. Adam wants to live forever in this <laughs> present state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, you see, you're getting old, you see, you're getting tired. Why do you want to live forever in this present state? Don't you think God has some better things right. for mm -hmm. you? You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. you're, you're getting tired, you get. Yeah, that's a better thing. Yes. You see that? Yes. Adam wants to Adam was Adam will stay here three hundred years and, and won't care if somebody else has got to be responsible for taking care of him. He just wanna just hang around as so long as he can be in the flesh. You see that? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm trying to get people to see the difference between yes. the carnal man and the spiritual man. Right. You see people that are sons of God and they'll take they'll they'll age so graceful. Mm -hmm. yep. They have a, a peace. Yep. About, them. Piece about them. Mm -hmm. Not cumbered with stuff. That's yeah. what's killing folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Worry about too much stuff. You can't fix it. If you can fix it, be something. Right. Mm -hmm. But you're depending on the Lord. Romans 6 4 again. Therefore, we are buried with him in baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead, how? By the glory of the Father. Mm -hmm. Even so, we should also walk in yeah. newness. newness of life. Newness of life. Why? Because you're a new creation. Amen. You, but you, got, you can't walk in the newness of life unless you see the old man is dead. Mm -hmm. You see how this scripture yes. is laid here over buried with Christ. Amen. You got to know that that old nature was buried. If you don't, if, if, do you, why do you think that dead people, people that physically die are buried? They can't just hang around. Mm -hmm. They just can't be around. You wouldn't keep them in the house with you or, right. or, or just leave them around someplace. Right. You wouldn't do that. You right. see yeah. that? Yeah. So you got to see that that old man is buried. He's what? He's out of sight. He's yeah. done away with. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm How? -hmm. In the power of the cross. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. Quicken together. This is where that word, the word we read from Hebrews 4 and 12 a while ago, where the, where the word of God is quick mm -hmm. and powerful. Mm -hmm. That means it's living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This word is alive. Mm -hmm. What happened was, right. you gotta, if you don't see yourself buried together with Christ, mm -hmm. don't count on this, this new creation life to work in. Amen. See that? Mm -hmm. It's not going to work simultaneously with the, with the fallen man. Amen. That's what people are trying to do now. And that's why you got this mixture. And then it's what? Mess. Mm -hmm. yes. See that? Yes. Yes. You got that the man of the clay, mm -hmm. the man of the ground. Mm -hmm. You got the man born of, of, of oh, water and of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. put the, the water with the man from the ground and you got this murk and mm -hmm. mire and people mm -hmm. can't see anything. Yeah. Right. You Amen. see that? Mm -hmm. Thank God. Mm -hmm. So quick and together, Ephesians 2 and 5, Paul told the church at Ephesus, he says, even when we were dead in sins. 
So you know yourself didn't have anything to do with this. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> had quickened us together with Christ. What? And then what's what's in parentheses? By grace, grace. Yeah. you're saved. Mm -hmm. Colossians 2 and 13 says, And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened what together? How did he do it? He 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 was quickened one time and then forgot all about you and came back later to do something. That's not true, is it? That's not true. This says Colossians 2 and 13, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him. Praise the Lord. Having forgiven you all trespasses. See that? Amen. People need to know this yes. today. All this. Yes. Yes, Lord. People need to know that. Having Amen. forgiven you all trespasses. Yes. It's the truth. Yes, it's true. It's true of you. You might be some sitting somewhere where somebody is, is, is reminding you and won't let your conscience be purged from dead works. But I'm telling you, it's still true of you anyway. Because I know this Amen. transaction right Amen. here was, was whole, and there's nothing lacking in it. And it did everything that the Bible tells us that it did in the power of Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Two more Amen. raised with Christ. Colossians 3 and 1. It says, if ye then be risen, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ, what's he doing? Sitting at the right Amen. hand of God. Amen. See that? Amen. That's where he Thank you, Lord. If you be risen, people, people are not seeking, people are, are seeking carnal things because they don't realize that we've been risen Amen. together with him. Amen. Otherwise, we know we're risen together. Well, we're seeking those things that are above. Amen. Because what? You've been born again, Nicodemus. Praise God. Amen. 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 You've been born from above. Amen. So you seek those things from where you're from. Right. Yeah. I, I, it's interesting for me to see culture, different cultures. I love to go visit, but I'm gonna tell you right now, ain't no place like United States of America home. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Praise Amen. The Lord. And I say that because you, if you you're from not a place spiritually, we're not from anything earthy. That's we right. are from heaven. We are seated from their heavens now. We are from New Jerusalem. Amen. So we seek those things which are above. Yeah. But I really want to, I would seek what, what where I'm from. Amen. See that? Amen. Glory to God. It's my home. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hey, Paul said it's my gospel. Yes, my Lord. gospel is my home. It's your home. Praise yes, the Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. And the last one, we are seated yes. in Christ. I see that? See, listen. Verse Ephesians 2 and 6. See, I guess you, you're seeing that these epistles are some awesome books to, to yes, just Lord. read for a while. Yes, mm -hmm. Ephesians 2 and 6 says, have raised us up together and made us sit. Well, together. I don't know why I say this. Together. Mm -hmm. Together. Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah. And have raised us up together. Right. Together. Not a different place in time. Mm -hmm. It's already true of us. Oh, what's the key here? Believe in it. Amen. 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 Otherwise, it'd be just like in the Old Testament, this would be like a wilderness. Bam. What happened? Died in the wilderness. Why? Wow. We believe. Aren't we supposed to be going? We, we promised the land. Bam. Somebody else died. What happened? We believe it. See that? Amen. <laughs> And it says, have, and, and made us sit together <laughs> in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Our focus is, is on the wrong, Praise it's on the wrong place. We'll, we'll finish up with Hebrews. Go back over if you don't mind. Hebrews 4. One man. One man. One man. One, one man plan. Mm -hmm. That's all it is to it. Hallelujah. So we stop verse 10. For he that has entered, Hebrews 4 and 10. For he that has entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works as God did from his. Now I hope the purpose of going back showing you these, these steps, what we call six <coughs> steps to the throne, the purpose for doing that, so we can see the importance of believing it. Right. Mm -hmm. 
You will never have peace in our lives if we don't believe this. The carnal man can, can keep resurfacing and doing what he wants to when he wants to and then slither back on Sunday. <laughs> it's you, there won't be any progress made. You see what I'm saying? For he, verse 10 again, for he that has entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works as God <coughs> did from his. And I'll remind you again of what a warrior taught me, and I never will forget it. He says, Sister Carol, you know what? God opened that seventh day, but he never closed it. Mm -hmm. That's right. See that? Mm -hmm. Every other day, even in the morning, was it? Mm -hmm. Praise God. He closed, closed the seventh day. Yeah. This is his day of rest. Yeah. See, this 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 what is 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 what after a while, as you walk a while in this, you'll see the beauty of it. Everything was made when the man got here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then he was made to right. what to enter into fellowship with God. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. I want this man to be be everything. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. want him to be alone. Mm -hmm. He's got everything. I don't want him to be alone. Mm -hmm. When trouble came. <laughs> Amen. But we thank God it doesn't affect the plan of God. You right. see what I'm saying? Amen. It's still Amen. the plan of God. It's still God. the plan of God. Right. Yes. God. Because right. see, I, I still see something so beautiful in it. Because when when Eve ate, it did nothing happened to her. Right. Mm -hmm. You get in trouble when you mess with the man. That's right. The Amen. spirit man. Mm -hmm. Don't ever forget that. Right. Don't Amen. ever, ever forget that. It's the spirit man. Mm -hmm. That doesn't give us women the, the right to, to uh, this this has no nothing no, doesn't fit in the equation at all, gender. Because right. in Christ there's no male or female. But I want to understand so you have to use some things for teaching points. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. But you'll notice if you've been living a while, there's things women do a lot different than men. Amen. We need to listen yes. to these men uh, yes, because they, well, they wired a different way. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> Glory to God. Praise Hallelujah. God. So we God. thank God. For who we are, we thank God for who they are, but we thank God most of all for Christ. Right. Because yeah. in Christ, there's no demarcation, there's no difference, there's right. no separation. Right. Blessed be the name of God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So verse 11 says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Mm -hmm. If you Listen, if you, you this labor word right here is not even work. This word just, just means in, endeavor. Let that be, be your heart's purpose, glory to God. Into, into that rest, lest any man fall after the same what? Example of unbelief. Mm -hmm. This is what is showing you, and God is so sweet, kind, and loving. Mm -hmm. We're almost there, family. God is so, he's such a wonderful God. He's yeah. showing us the danger of unbelief. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you don't believe, he's already told you in the preceding verse, you can't enter into the rest. Yeah. You wow. see that? Mm -hmm. And in case you didn't get that, that by believing, that's how you get into the rest. Right. He says here in verse 11, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Because if you don't, lest any man fall after the same example of what? Mm -hmm. Unbelief. Right. Unbelief is not resting. Right. Amen. It's sin. That's what it is. Simply that, mm -hmm. disobedience. Simply that disobedience. Right. Verse, verse 12 says, for well, the word of God, we read this already, because we use it in, a, in another verse, but it's worth saying again. For the word of God is quick and powerful, and <clears throat> sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, of the joints and marrow, as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. This this creating word of God. Yes. Just think. <laughs> Every time we come together. Well, it's going to have to be when we come together. When the word of God is ministered to you, the word, it doesn't, it, Christ is the word. He didn't return to him void. Amen. He accomplished all God said mm -hmm. to do. Amen. But the thing about the word of God, it's alive. So when you're being ministered, the word of God, by the quickening power of the spirit, you're being fashioned. You're being fitly framed. You're not just stuck on to something. You ever see somebody who says, what that design was thinking when he built that out? Mm -hmm. But you ever, see, you ever see something that's just perfect and it just blows and it's yeah. fitly? Yeah. This is what's happening to yeah. us now. Yeah. We, we are a spiritual house. Mm -hmm. We are living stones. We've been prepared in the quarry. Why? Because the quarry was the power of the cross. We've been prepared. Mm -hmm. We've bought to the house. Now we're being fitly framed. Yeah. Glory to God. Praise God. So then just a few more verses here. Verse 13. 
Verse 13, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. Mm -hmm. But all things are naked and open before, um, I'm sorry, unto the eyes of him with whom we yeah. have to do. Seeing then that we have a great high priest. See, here's this in verse again. He, mm -hmm. What? The high priest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See that? We have a great high priest. We go on to talking about the high priest now because we've already talked about the apostle, the sent one. Mm -hmm. So by now, we should be a people set with hearts to believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. So then, now he can say, send then we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Who is he? Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus, the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Let us hold fast our profession. Well, that's how we started out over here in verse 1 of chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Last time we came together. Mm -hmm. For we have not, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like mm -hmm. as we are yet Amen. what happened without sin. Without sin. Without sin. We need to understand what all points mean. Mm -hmm. That means nothing was left out. Right. Anything that we could be tempted with. Well, Jesus didn't do well. That's not what the word says. He did. That's right. Yes, he did. Yes, he was, yes. Yes, he was tempted with it. Yes. You would, if something you've been tempted with is something he was tempted That's right. with. Amen. Amen. But say what? Yet without sin. Mm -hmm. Verse 16 said, <clears throat> like I love ending on this uh, verse right here. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Listen. Grace has a throne. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because grace is a person. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have a song that came from this verse. Yes. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. grace. Mm -hmm. What? That we may what? obtain mercy, mercy and yeah. find yeah. grace yeah. to help in, in the time of need. Well, that's who he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I, I'm going to Father. I'll send you another comforter. Mm -hmm. yes. You need grace to help. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just imagine. Jesus, the, there's a description from Acts 7 49 reads like this Heaven is my throne, earth is my footstool. Remember that? Yes. 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 Imagine grace with a throne. This kind of, <clears throat> this very word, throne, indicate, <clears throat> indicates a footstool. Well, if uh, his enemy is on his feet, when we approach him, just remember that word we learned, yet, sir, mm -hmm. to form an image in the mind. Mm -hmm. just, just imagine that <coughs> you come, when we come to the throne of grace to find help in the time of need. When you <clears throat> just by approaching the throne, whatever is contending with us, he's already contending with because the enemy is at his feet. Praise yeah. 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 So yeah. as soon as you approach the throne, the, the enemy is is already there, defeated. Amen. And it gets Amen. even better if you realize, just like we just finished these steps, that he's made us sit together. The yes. Mm -hmm. So you got two yeah. angles to look at. If you're not comfortable that you see it, which you are, <laughs> together with him. Just when, when you approach the throne, just realize, well, well, right. anything I'm contending with is right. already, it's already under, oh, under his feet. That's right, Amen. Lord. Amen. So yes, Lord. I, I'm here to present myself, Lord, uh, mercy, grace, grace. I have need of it. God bless you all.
at Zion, His holy presence is your home. 